Well, hello, Sagittarius. You know what time it is. It's time for Midnight Messages. <laughs> this is, has kind of turned into a regular feature. Um, this is pretty much what's in the shadows. So, surprisingly enough, I mean, there have been some interesting things coming out. Am I right? And it ha actually hasn't been repeating. So, uh, that's very interesting. If this is your first time here, my name is Heidi, and this is Sage Muse Tarot. Um, we do Sagittarius. Sagittarius all day. <laughs> yes! If you're interested in personal readings, please check out the link in my description. We do all kinds of readings here. I don't have a schedule. I suppose that would be nice, but... I also am a Sagittarius, and I'm not doing a schedule, <laughs> okay? I do live on Wednesday and Friday. Um, Friday, I do love messages, though clearly that is what's showing up here, Sag. And I will be honest with you, I actually feel like I was seeing two things here. This could be for reconciliation, but this could also be for something new. Um... Either way, it does feel like it involves a lot. So let's dig in. Okay. Now, I always use the same Oracle cards for, for this reading every time because this is called uh, Spirits and Shadows. Um, yeah, let's do it though. Reversal, Truth, Vigilance, and Autumn. And we're also seeing Winter, so this is definitely a developing situation. Okay, okay, Sage, let's do this. So, in terms of reversal, um, that's about going after something. And, you know, that's why I'm feeling like this could be a reconciliation. This could be someone coming back. It could have to do with all this retrograde season, too, because, you know, that's all about reversal, right? Um, and I kind of feel like... There's someone here, even if this isn't like a past person, it could be something that didn't really start is what I'm feeling. But anywho, this is someone offering you an opportunity. Okay, and they're representing as the King of Wands. Um, and the King of Wands always is a visionary, always is, you know, someone moving forward taking action, taking positive action forward. And it kind of feels like they're offering an opportunity to go in a new direction. So, I mean, you can look at this as like someone who maybe double backed, right? Maybe it started, they didn't take any action. And now they're saying, oh, let's go this way. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, because I don't feel like you're the king of wands in this situation. No, a lot of the times we are. Um, this is a very passionate person. He's not like just this person and I say he because it's a king But you know, there's no gender in tarot it, They're not making this move lightly and that's what you need to know. Okay um, This definitely is a new opportunity, right? But it's It's like It's like maybe someone who who you might have been involved with but really didn't offer anything at the time because when I see the Ace of Pentacles I always think about like um, you know an offer of abundance an offer of stability ready to you know extend that hand because the you know the Ace of Pentacles is a gift as much as it is a new start and with this card and the butterfly showing up it's like oh I'm ready I'm finally ready to do something here finally ready to move forward right and this person has good energy they could be a fire sign for sure but this is a very passionate person this is a person who knows what they want so I definitely feel in this situation that this was perhaps someone who didn't know what they wanted in the past now they do and now they're saying Sag here take my pentacle <laughs> Take my pentacle, Sag. I'm ready. I want you. This is happening. Because I feel like a lot of the times with the King of Wands, it's like their energy is so much so that you, 
you know, it's very charismatic. Like, um, I might even title it because it's what pop, what is popular now, but this person has serious riz. <laughs> I don't know if y'all have heard that one. But that's a, someone with charisma. It's like, that's this person. Like, when they know what they want, they're like full steam ahead. You can't, this person is a force. You can't stop them, right? <laughs> for real, for real. So, truth is here, too. So, it, it, honestly, you need some time to think about it. That's, I feel like that's the space you're coming from. Because it's followed up by the Four of Swords, right? Um, because you need... Although you you probably do have feelings for this person because the Two of Cups is here. So you definitely have a soul connection or a soul bond with this person. You are feeling kind of iffy. <laughs> to be honest, you are. I mean, this really puts you in your head. You have some concerns. You are a little stressed out about it. Um, and that comes from the space of Three of Swords. I mean, maybe this person hurt you before. Or maybe it's just you don't want to get hurt. I don't want to get hurt. I don't like those knives in my chest. <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> you know? Um, I don't like those knives in my chest. And so, there's kind of like, I don't want to have to heal from something again. Right? Especially with the Four of Swords being here, which kind of says, you put a lot of healing into yourself. And you don't take these steps lightly. Right? Um, because here you are, you know, vigilance. You... You've been, like, I feel like with this person, <laughs> that's what kind of makes me know that you do know this person. It's been a real rocky road with this one, right? If you look at the stairwell <laughs> and, you know, because, like, truthfully, you may be walking into a storm, right? And this card also reminds me of the Four of Wands, right? And to be with this person actually would be a big life change for you um it could be that you weren't expecting this but the lovers and i heard someone just describe the lovers this way there's always a big difference like there's always some way in which you two are different which makes it even more miraculous that you come together right but of course the lovers is a decision and this is a big decision because this is a life-changing decision for some reason Okay, so you're not taking this lightly and you also know that in order to be with this person, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy, Sag. I don't know why, but you know, you may have already been on a, on a, a rocky little trail with this person, right? For real, for real, because, you know, and you are kind of like, it kind of feels too like you're a little stressed out by it. I, I will say that. Like, because we're seeing the tower and we're seeing the nine of swords, I feel like this is like, what? Wait, what? Let me think about this. Because in order for me to take this on, like, this is a big life change for some reason. Okay? Oh, boy. So, I feel like, um, I feel honestly like, okay, so we're seeing autumn. So, what's going to happen in the fall, most likely, is that you will be spending time with this person. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups and Nine of Pentacles is here. You're going to be spending time with this person to figure out whether this brings value to your life. Like, because the Nine of Pentacles is here, which basically says, you know, I'm good by myself, right? I'm content by myself, or I could be with some. I would rather be with someone, because who doesn't want to be emotionally fulfilled, right? Um, but I feel like what you're doing is is figuring out does this have the possibility of being the Ten of Cups, right? Or am I better off by myself? Because, you know, I'm, I'm in a good place right now. You know, I'm in a good place. And this very much feels Sagittarius. You know what I mean? So I'm going to take a look at the Nine of Pentacles here. Because there's also contentment. You, because spending time with this person may actually show you how happy you could be with this person, what you could have with this person, um, you know, and definitely a sense of contentment, but 
you are also content single is what I'm feeling. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles for Sagittarius. That's too much. Jeez, please. Nine of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Okay. King of Swords. Mm. King of Swords and Ego. I, you know, yeah, I, I feel like what you're trying to decide and this may be through spending time with this person. Um, I feel like you're going to hold off making a final decision through the fall and just kind of go with the flow, spend time with them. Um, because you're, you're kind of not sure. You want to make sure that this makes sense for your life, right? Especially because you feel like you could be with someone or you could be single and either way you're good of course you'd rather be with someone but you you want to make sure that you make the right decision because I actually feel like you're the king of swords in this situation you know and with eco being here I mean why is ego here why is ego here for Sagittarius Yeah, I mean, like, you want to be, you want to make sure that you can depend on this person. Because here's the King of Pentacles. That could say you have a, more than one choice, but I really feel like for you it's about, like, can you depend on this person? Is this really stable? You know, I feel like you want to make sure of that before you make this decision. So I think through the fall, you may be spending time with this person. To figure that out and although they do make you happy and they definitely are so me there definitely is love here we all know love isn't enough right <laughs> so in the winter there's winter resolve and reincarnation like wow mm. um now winter can also you know be a warning of sorts you know, um, so that's also telling you there will be things to work out. There will be issues to be resolved, right? With the Seven of Cups and the Two of Wands, it's really beautiful because, you know, there are things. There are things to work out. There are things to figure out. Maybe even confusing things, Sagittarius. And, and really, I feel like you're not going to make a choice here until the winter, right? Because the Two of Wands, that's... Oh, which way am I going, right? <laughs> which which way am I going? Am I staying single or am I going to be with this person? So let's take a look at a possible outcome. Possible outcome here. I think this is really nice though. If I'm being real with you. Possible outcome. But it's definitely something you're not expecting. Okay. Eight of Pentacles, possible outcome. Knight of Swords, wow, okay. There's a determination to make this work. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. There's a determination here to make this work. Probably a lot of communication, a lot of effort, leading towards something stable and lasting. You know, the Ten of Pentacles can represent marriage, naturally. But it can also represent long-term tradition with the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, building something together, building a family, building a life. Wow. You definitely could be marrying this person. But definitely working towards building a strong foundation. Oop. Six of Cups and the Chariot. Mm. Wow, and so, I mean, this is really something that will move forward, and it's not that there isn't stuff to work out, there always is, right? But with the Six of, of Cups, that's also a gift. This is a gift for your future. This is a gift for your future, creating memories, turning things around, you know, really um, 
like kind of like a gift from the universe is the chariot, right? Something you've been patient for. And, and you really work towards this, though, with this person. Wowza. Wow, Sagittarius. That's something. I didn't see that coming. Because, you know, usually these messages are dark, dark. <laughs> so, I'm going to pull you a moon card, too, since I have them out. Mm hmm That was unexpected. So, can you get a message for Sagittarius that would help them with this relationship? Sagittarius. But even more than anything, whether this is a reconciliation or this is someone that you're just, you know, taking this journey with, Who's really taking action? Wow. Okay. Okay, Saj. Wowza. So, what is your message for Sagittarius about this situation? Your advice for Saj? New Moon and Taurus, know your worth. You deserve this. Wow kind of empress energy and it definitely is new moon energy any advice for Sagittarius yeah like you deserve this just go with the flow <laughs> love it Sag I love this we'll get one more card of advice something sassy for my sassy Sagittarius I have one more card of advice for Sagittarius. Midnight messages. One more card of advice. Uh oh. Some good ish is about to happen, Sag. Don't let your issues mess it up. Okay, Sagittarius, that's what I have for you. Toodles.